Enter the Matrix Queen is Lauren. And uh, the person that I'm crowning is uh, Mr. Joseph Kalen. outstanding eighth grader so these these eighth graders have never marched before and never this is their first year obviously so they're very new to this and there we couldn't narrow it down to one so we have two outstanding eighth graders these guys picked up on everything so easily and we were just very impressed so our two most outstanding eighth graders are Jacob Kleibert, or Kleber, sorry if I pronounce Kleibert? Kleber. Okay, Jacob Kleber and William DeSell. to our mommy she is our new coach but we just we love her so much and she's just always there for us and like we always have these little talks with her and we always just like bond with her so well and I don't know if this year could have been what it is without her so to our mommy Outstanding ninth grader award. So this kid uh, has been very good, uh, always doing what we need him to do. And uh, although it can be annoying at uh, times, this is really great. So Carlos Gutierrez, get up here. She literally every five seconds is falling over. Like first practice completely wiped out. We're burning stadiums, falls on the stairs, and she has tripped every day at band and dance camp. Like so I'm giving her a pack of band-aids because, you know, just in case of emergency, and that is going to Reagan. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, my next award is just for the uh, best tenth grader, pretty much. And uh, this kid, uh, he uh, is actually pretty good. 
Uh, he stepped up a lot this year. Went from uh, basically like the third best, uh, arguably the best in our section. And uh, he's playing low brass one this year. So, uh, Andrew Fry, come on back. Okay, so this award goes out to someone who is basically part of our team and he's always hanging out with us and we love hanging out with him. He's also sitting with us right now. So this award, the Honorary J. Ed Award goes to Frank. Okay, so this next award goes to the most outstanding 11th grader. So this kid, he, um, he's, he's shown a great deal of leadership for his section. Um, and he always tries to help his section like stay in line and like just is really a great example for them. Uh, how to, you know, how to march well, how to play their instruments well. And you know he is. He went from you know being a great clarinet player to now he's having his solo. Uh, <laughs> and um, so, uh, give it up for Frank Young. award goes to one of the band members and one of them was really curious about the degrees of the chicken the first night we were here and so to help with that Brian Santos I got you a thermometer <laughs> Most improved, uh, most improved overall, and there's not really much of a speech that can go with this. And I'm not well talking with people, so it goes to Sage Azaria. girls during every break on the field would sit in a chair next to the door like into the bear <laughs> and hold it open for everyone who went in and out and they would always say thanks Ella or thanks like you're welcome because no one would say you're welcome for them holding the door so the thank you and thanks Ella award goes to Caroline and Ella <laughs> Most Outstanding Pit Member Award, and it's gonna go to the guy who just spent the most time progressing from like an easier instrument to like one of the harder instruments in the pit. Give it up for Foster McDaniel. Yeah.
Take a picture, Megan. Take a picture. Take a picture. <laughs> okay, so girl band camp, there's this one rookie, and um, she's just like, we said about dance camp, she's just like this little ray of sunshine, and she's just like, every time you look at her, like, you want to smile, and you want to get out there, like, you want to clean, you want to do it, like, you want to get out there, so, um, the best rookie goes to NK, our little sunshine. So, so two years ago, by um, Aiden Schwartz, where, wherever he is, right Aiden here. Schwartz, right, here. Uh, right there, Aiden Schwartz gave me the Outstanding Woodwind Award, um, and I was told then to pass it along when I got to my senior year. So since pre-band camp, I've been watching y'all to find who <laughs> is worthy of receiving the award, and I thought it may maybe. You know, one of the maybe one of the sophomores, one of the juniors, one of the older people. We, I had an eighth grader stand out to me this year. He was he was good at playing. He's great at marching. He ticked all the boxes. And maybe he was just trying to impress his brother that was here. But the outstanding Woodwind Award goes to Justin Trepanier. Okay, so this next award, this year we also decided to give a Best Vet Award. So this girl, she's always in her spot on the band field, always at attention. She's just always doing what she's supposed to be doing. And whenever she's like dancing, she's just so, like, she gives performance. She's giving the energy and she's just always there. So the Best Vet Award goes to Elizabeth. Day one of band camp, there's this one eighth grader in my section, came in and he always wanted to talk to everybody, a really chill guy, and he picks up music and sets very easily. So I want to give the chill out award to Coleman Aboud. So my next award goes out to someone who has not been able to make it through band camp. The first year she was quarantined, the second year she was sick, and this year she was also sick. So this award goes to Kate Smith. And I have some cough chops, so hopefully you'll make it next year. <laughs> Alright, so this next award is called the GPS oh, Award. And this, this award goes to the person who can never find their spot in the field show. Oh, no. Always, always waiting on him to, <laughs> to get back to his, his set and start the show. So, without further ado, this award goes to Finn Hoppus. Okay, so my next award goes to another band member who's always dancing around, has the best dance moves, and always bringing the energy. So, Andy, I have this tutu for you. So, 
This was originally supposed to be a joke award, but after a week with this person, I decided that he really deserves some, you know, recognition for what he's done. Whether it's just marching or, you know, overall just having the same attitude going into every single day, you know, he really delivered. So that was the recognition part of this. For the joke part of this, this guy has always kind of been to himself in a sense. So I tried to bring him out and I would joke with him. I always called him a big Doja Cat fan. So he kind of played into it. You know, he said his wallpaper is Doja Cat one time and jokes and things like that. So the, the music lover slash Doja Cat lover award goes to Ramel Robin. team for a while now and at our first band camp the seniors did a certain or said a certain phrase that not many people of our generation know but and we caught on to it but the thing is if you think of the phrase you lose so um I'm sorry CC but the I lost the game award goes to my tweedle dumb <laughs> So, when I, when I got to Jesuit, I made the grave mistake of taking both Latin and Greek. So, about this past year, about twice a week, I would have the hundred line test. So, I'd be in the band room in the mornings, going over my lines, and I'll be reading them out loud, just to help me remember them. And there was one guy who would be a bit annoyed by this, so of course I would follow him around while doing it. Um, and so, I've decided, as a, a bit of a payback for the minor inconvenience I put him through, I am giving my fully annotated copies of the Odyssey, Iliad, Caesar, and Virgil to Dominic Roberts as the honor of the So I made myself king of said section. Uh, kings are supposed to have heirs to their throne. So, Jackson Bowman over here is the heir to his melophone throne because, well, now I have a minion. I was about to call him slave and then I realized that I was So Jackson Bowman. Germany trip, like, a, in the summer, that the last Germany trip that we had, right? And so, when, what, like, on, the, on the last few days, I found out that I was going to be stuck in an airport, right? I, our flight got canceled, everything was miserable, um, we, it was just kind of like a bad day, like I was ready to go home, and then like, then the flight got canceled, and I was so annoyed, right? Like, I couldn't go home. And so, 
You know who else was on that trip? There was a guy, right? And it was one of the other fellow bands men. And um, he was he was watching anime. <laughs> He lost his headphones on the trip, right? And I was like, oh, man. come on, man. He really turned on the volume, and he was like, okay, I'll put it on half. And I was like, I could still hear it. And everyone else could hear it too, and we were like, okay, turn, turn down the volume, please. And he didn't, right? He wanted to watch his anime, and he couldn't hear otherwise. So, um, and, and, Future planning, I planned this for like two years. So now, now, Eric Zang, I'd like to give you the Anime Lovers Award. A group award from all of the band, all, all of the senior bandsmen, and the senior JS. And the this award is for it, it is to show our appreciation for all of the staff members and all of the leaders that we have to show us exactly how to function in this band. So this award goes to all of the staff members. We have a trophy for all of you. So please. Aww. Is it working? 